Julie Newmar is an actress who's mostly known for her role as Catwoman in the 1960s TV series Batman. She's also a dancer and a singer. In this video, we'll be sharing with you some secret facts about her. Her father was a professional football player and her mother a star of the Ziegfeld Follies. Julie Newmar was born Julia Shalene Newmeyer to Don and Helen Newmeyer. Her father, Don, was a professional football player who played with the Los Angeles Buccaneers of the National Football League in 1926. He was also the head of the physical education department at Los Angeles City College. Her mother performed with the Ziegfeld Follies in the late 1920s. The Follies were a series of theater productions on Broadway in New York City that lasted from 1907 to 1931. Her mother later became a fashion designer using Shalene as her professional name. Once she retired from fashion designing, she became a real estate investor. One of Newmar's brothers, John A. Newmeyer, is a writer, epidemiologist, and a winemaker. She began her career as a ballet dancer. Newmar developed an interest in dancing at a very young age. When she was in school, she studied piano, dance, and classical ballet. After graduating high school, she took a break from everything and toured Europe with her mother and her brother. She became a prima ballerina for the Los Angeles Opera when she was 15. She enrolled at UCLA where she planned to study classical piano, philosophy, and French, but she soon lost interest after she was hired by Universal Studios to be a choreographer, teacher, and dance double. She was covered in gold paint in Serpent of the Nile. Newmar began her acting career by doing minor and sometimes uncredited roles in films as a dancer. She was credited as Dancer Assassin in the 1953 film Slaves of Babylon. In the historical adventure film Serpent of the Nile, she was credited as Gilded Girl. Her role in the film was an interesting one. She was covered entirely in gold paint and she had to dance before Raymond Burr who starred in the film as Mark Anthony. Most of her early roles involved dancing of some kind. After Serpent of the Nile, she danced in The Bandwagon and Demetrius and the Gladiators. She appeared on an episode of The Twilight Zone. Newmar became famous thanks to her TV appearances. Today, she's mostly known for her role as Catwoman on the 1960s show Batman. But there's a lot of other amazing roles that she performed in during the 60s. In 1963, she appeared on an episode of The Twilight Zone. The episode was called Of Late, I Think of Cliffordville. She put two devil horns in her hair and played the role of Satan himself on the episode. Maybe the horns in her head were foreshadowing her role as Catwoman in Batman. Or maybe they were just good practice for wearing cat ears. It's not one of her best known roles, but she does talk about it fondly in interviews. We'll never get to see her most important work. One of Newmar's favorite roles was in My Living Doll in which she played Rhoda the Robot. It was a black and white TV show that aired on CBS from 1964 to 1965. In an interview with the official website of Star Trek, Newmar said her work on My Living Doll was a tour de force for me and probably the most important that I've done. The show only lasted one season. Newmar appeared in about 26 episodes, but the 35 millimeter negatives were lost in the 1994 earthquake in Northridge. Only 12 episodes were recovered in the Star Trek interview, Newmar said, I know they're in someone's garage somewhere. That was a wonderful, wonderful show, and it was probably my best work. The episodes that were recovered can be watched today. It's a shame we'll never get to see the rest of the episodes. She was supposed to star in the Batman film. The Batman TV show began January 1st, 1966, and the Batman film was released in July of 1966. Newmar was supposed to reprise her role of Catwoman in the film, but due to other commitments, she had to be replaced by Lee Merriweather. Newmar was working on Monsieur Lecoe in the UK. Monsieur Lecoe was never finished, but stills from the film were featured in Playboy magazine in 1969. She was replaced by Eartha Kitt in the last season of Batman. Newmar performed as Catwoman on the Batman TV show for the first two seasons. In the last season, she had to be replaced by Eartha Kitt because she was busy playing the role of an Apache woman in McKenna's Gold. There are some theories, however, that suggest that the real reason why Newmar didn't appear in the last season of Batman might have been different than what is generally believed. Burgess Meredith, who played the role of the Penguin on the show, also starred in McKenna's Gold, but was still able to appear on Batman as well. Her Cameo Appearances Newmar was one of the most popular actresses in America, so it only made sense for her to have so many cameo appearances in films and TV shows. In 1992, when Newmar was almost 60 years old, 
She performed in the music video of George Michael's song, Too Funky. In 1967, she made an appearance in the Star Trek episode Friday's Child. She performed as Vicki Russell in Route 66, and she also appeared in the popular sitcom Bewitched. She guest starred in an episode of The Monkees called Monkees Get Out More Dirt. She played the role of a hit woman with actor Robert Wagner in an episode of the action-adventure TV show It Takes a Thief. She continued to do cameo roles in the 2000s, starring as herself in the 2003 TV movie Return to the Batcave, The Misadventures of Adam and Burt. She also voiced Catwoman in the 2016 animated film Batman Return of the Caped Crusaders. She didn't get along with actor Jim Belushi, who was her neighbor. Jim Belushi and Newmar were constantly at each other's throats, their long feud almost seems like something that came from a cartoon show. Newmar and Belushi were always arguing over the fence that bordered their homes in California. Newmar preferred the fence to be short so her flowers could get sunlight. Belushi, on the other hand, wanting the fence to be high because he considered himself a private man. The feud turned into a legal battle when Belushi sued Newmar for $4 million. The battle ended when Belushi invited Newmar to guest star on his sitcom, According to Jim. She appeared on the episode, The Grumpy Guy. Newmar and Belushi reenacted their feud in the episode, but this time it was a dog they fought over and not a fence. What's your favorite TV show or movie by Julie Newmar? Do you remember watching her in Batman? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to press the subscribe button.